Each woman here is Isabel Gowdy. Each woman a witch in the pious eyes of righteous men who hunger for the flesh of burning women. I lived in a time of political, social and religious upheaval that created a cauldron, a cauldron of contempt for womankind. Gaudi, a 
that was the last thing that I could do. That was the only thing that I could do. I told them ridiculous things of plowing fields with puddocks. How can you plow a field, we are told, and they believed it. I told them of how we raised the winds across the Moray Park by taking a rag. We would wet it in water and then I would take my laundry stick. It's not a magic wand, a laundry stick. And I would beat it against the stain. And I would say three times, I raise the wind in the deal's name, and it shall not lie until I wish it to lie again. And then, if I wanted to lie in the wind, how I would just, I would try that round and say this charm three times. I lay the wind in the deal's name and it shall not rise until I wish it again. And if that wind, it wouldn't you lie, well then I would shout on Red Reaver, my spirit familiar. Thief, thief, conjure the wind and cause it to, to lie. And oh, how the power coursed in my veins when I told them, oh, the size of a devil's member compared to that of a man. Of how when we broke into their houses, we would fish in their barrels of ale. And I watched the breath stolen to the lungs in the lair of the park. The very man who thought that he could take my body without my consent, and all because I fed him the land with John Gilbert, my husband. And I tell him, in front of everyone, that I had placed a curse upon him at every male son that he would bear. And I felt the seed shrivel in his pretty purse on that day. They called me illiterate. I was in that daft. I kid the one she would call witch, witch, witch. That what comes next would be unbearable pain. So I gave them what they wanted. I gave them confessions. And these confessions are still spoken about even 300 years later and more. Did you know that they say that my confessions are the most extraordinary in the whole history of witchcraft? What they say, I was a storyteller, a fantasist, that I was delusional, that I was ill. Well, let me say this to those who do not believe in magic. Everyone knows the name of Isabel Gowdy. I have been remembered, and that is the real magic. The name of the Witch Queen of Scotland shall live on forever.